Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I just want to start another one. But yeah, I, I kind of like that because I was exploring around. I was trying out a bunch of stupid themes as they came up. And that one paid off. Even though we were at level 30. That's, that's huge. So yeah, when I do two runs in a day, I just have the second run always be a way of gaining money. Alright. We're going to grab the Pacifist just to get ourselves more gold. Um, so this, we're going to actually um, head up to... Wait, does this character have Austin Odysseus as well? Why does he only have one health? Why do they only have one health? Yeah, why do they only have one health? Minus 50% HP. Still doesn't justify one health. Like, look. One. Not... Not low health. One. Well. That was a glitch, as far as I can tell. And that glitch punished me horribly. Exploding Casket Syndrome or another pacifist for money. We're going to go with Exploding Casket this time. I could learn to avoid Exploding Caskets and actually get some resources along the way. But somehow... So that was my 60 health. That should bring me to like 80. And then that should bring me to 40. 40 health was how much I should have had. That survives that first bone that was thrown at me. So, that was literally a glitch that got that character killed. Right. Problem with exploding caskets? Whenever they're in a corner. Rather have my talent. Ooh. But yeah, plus 50% gold. If that's not worth it, I'm not sure what is. Like, that's barely gonna affect us on boss fights. Alright. That was, but still, weird that the pacifist at the beginning there was not functioning properly. Huh. It might be that the minus 50, minus 60 stacked. It said minus 100%. Yeah, so if they were applied at the same time, instead of one than the other, then that probably explains it. That would explain why I was at, why I had no health. Alright. That is chest. Alright. Hey, good equipment this time. I'll accept it. Ooh. That's coming for me. Alright, down we go, I guess. the only route? It is. I believe. Oh my gosh. I just looked at that tree um, more clearly. It's watered by blood. Like, I knew lore-wise that's kind of the theme, but if you look, blood 
is there's a pool of blood at the base of the tree. How did I never notice that? All right. Come on. Yes, yeah, the casket's exploding right as you um it's when they explode instantly. That's what usually gets that's what gets me. Book. Oh. Yeah, as whenever they explode instantly cuz they're right next to the ceiling. That's when I get hit by the exploding caskets. Hmm. Which is unfortunate. Oh my gosh. Yeah, how am I supposed to do this without getting hit? Like, there's just no space. There's just no space. Alright. Oof. Well, we used the meat to recover. But yeah, that was... That, that room was a lot harder with exploding caskets. Right. There we go. Whew. Now I have what we need to take on the throne room. We then teleport back here to get to Axis Mundi. To find our way to Axis Mundi, I guess. And yeah, I believe since the spell always crits, there's no point of us trying to save the shield bash for the spell synergy sort of thing. Anytime we can cast the spell, we do. I feel like, yeah, the spell really did the numbers there. I didn't do use my shield bash well, but that spell just deals so much damage, it didn't matter. Alright. And we're getting an additional 500 gold from this, so that's awesome. Alright. We now have to deal... With just making our way to the right and finding Axe Mundi. Right, we have airborne dashes finally, so we can actually leverage those. I didn't reset my dash, but it didn't matter. Okay. We have all this health. Let's leverage it.
Ooh. Mm. I was hoping for like a warden weapon or something, because those could spawn here. Yeah, we're looking for gone heads specifically for the teleport. Hey, got gone heads. Still at full health. Let's go find Enoch or something then. Why not? Because it'll get me killed, I guess. That's why not. Alright, I can shield block if I time this wrong. I thought I timed it wrong, but apparently not. Cool. Alright. I think it's time to opt out. What we're gonna do, we have gone heads now. So, let's grab this apple for max health. Because us believers get rewarded. Hey, how's it going, that Mario guy? We just did a run where we never got um we never got boxer and we still did fine so that might change how we do this how i do this run which is pretty cool to consider all right i think it's time for us let's see it's just right there all right. Nah. We're not gonna take the needless risks. We got what we came here for. A teleport to Gone Heads. And I'm not facing Gone Heads at 88 health. Whew. So yeah, let's see. As is... We... Yeah, we have good health. With this, we'll have... We have good damage with our spell. Like, we're in actually a really solid spot. Oof. Despite how the intro went... With the pa bookish pacifist. I think we'll be alright at the end here. Uh, a little premature. Oh well. See, so yeah, I thought I needed... I usually need a hit twice, but I got a crit. And with exploding caskets, which is why I've gained all this bonus gold. Um, if I ever kill an enemy near the ceiling, I'm going to get punished for it. I'm going to take damage for it. Which is a little unfortunate, but we accept what we're given. This character has damage, it has gold gain. We'll accept the little flaw of exploding caskets. Hey, that's basically what I was looking for back um, when I grabbed that silver chest over in. Um, the sticking study item like that. So, I have a scholar cape. We have an intelligence build if we want it. Hmm.
Alright. Let's go for this question mark. See what it has to offer. Thank goodness that exploding casket did not hit the wall next to it. Nah. My next heirloom is after a boss fight. I'd rather just get myself back to full health. Than risk for the 290. Alright. Well, yeah, we're gonna have good money. That's gonna be nice. We just got the Scholar Cape, so we're gonna have a good good item. Even if we... I think we have a leather weapon as well, so... Another nice question mark. See, so yeah, in case you're wondering that, as you probably noticed how quickly I went up to that question mark. It's short enough that's worth. I find it worth the detour. Alright, well, I didn't take the damage from the Elite, so. The Elite is the one that deals the real damage, so. Ooh. Just don't want to deal with those two. Now I can't get this. I can't get this chest, but that's okay. Chest is technically a detour, anyways. This is a fairy chest, so I'm just gonna move on through. Alright, 176 health is great. I'm used to facing this guy with like 70 health, so under, so having an additional 100, definitely gonna feel good. to make sure to time that properly. Again, wow. There we are. Nice little double kill. Always speeds up things. Alright. Whew. Keeping time pretty well. Also note we've already found gone heads, so we have like a lot of the Stigian study out of the way already. Looking at our gold, we're actually fantastic on gold. Yeah.
Alright, let's just not die. Anima. Oof. Not gonna fight to leverage such a little health. Not when um, there are the only thing I can grab is two lilies, and one of those lilies is um, like one is a damage boost, one I can't get without. So just grabbing it makes it easier, makes it safer as well. You know. Sixty-five resolve. We need to grab two lilies, which will bring two hundred and forty-five resolve. Right, bring the warp down. Ooh, hello, ward. Question is, do we face Namal with this, or do we leverage the fact that they got us so much health and not face Namal? Alright, let's face Namal. Let's get ourselves our resolve back and um, guarantee this good money. Whew. Let's see. Then yeah, once we're done with Nama. Yeah, okay, yeah, we still have to go to Enoch. We might kill Gonheads next though. We might kill Gonheads. Yeah, if we're at high health, we'll kill Gonheads and then go searching for the void dash. Um if we're at low health, we'll just search for the void dash first. Button. Oh well. Oh, they both reached. I wasn't so sure about that.
Ooh, 200 health. Do I face Gonheads with 200 health? I think the answer is yes. And then I also have Book to fall back on if I really want to. Alright, we're already at 11k gold, which is more than most runs get, so... Especially in one life. So, that's good. A lot of good things today. A lot of good things today. So even if this character dies at Gone Heads, which would suck, we're still alright. And that's good to remember. In case anyone's wondering, when you use the um, that spell, as long as you don't move forward, you'll be okay. So, but if I move forward an inch, like, I'm not sure how many inches I have, basically. Woo! Freeze frames, man. They really need to give an option to shut those off. Alright. I think they've sped this up enough that it's actually better to watch the cutscene now. Alright, so there's that path right, and that huge jumble above. Let's go for the jumble. Alright, I believe it is here. Alright. Yep. So I didn't want to go into this room until I had double jump, which is why I abandoned the post. Hey, Murmur. Ooh. Ugh. Use those iframes. I'm actually gonna teleport back to Murmur because. Actually, no, I'm gonna teleport back to the entrance. I bet down there is where the heirloom is. Whew. That's okay. Oop. Yep. You get a good sense of these things. All right. Then we get to kill Enoch. Then we get a grab book, and then we climb up the tower. Ooh. And yeah, given how much gold we have, we're gonna I'm gonna go for the boxer route instead of the Because well I did find out last time that I could do it without the boxer. I mean, if you have a ton of gold on you, why not?
Ah, uh, didn't pick up the meat in time. Oh well. We're gonna be near full with this second meat lantern here. I wonder if I can slice it from below to save myself half a second. Probably can. Keep that in mind anytime I need to use it. Alright. So now we teleport over to... Ooh, almost retired. Careful with that. Careful with that. Alright. So now we go to Murmur. From Murmur we teleport from Murmur we teleport to Enoch. And from Enoch we will decide whether we need the health from the book or whether we go for Irad. Probably didn't need that gold at all, but it was. The thing is, you, I, I'm in the habit of I want to grab chests, and the chests in this room are so close that, like, you're already in this room. It's literally just a slight detour to one side or another. It's like if if I go to detour for chests, like this is where you'd want to do it. said I'll leave that one chest behind cuz My shield ready, didn't even notice. Whew. Alright, so this one is a little long, so we're actually gonna just pop and leave. I could have used that time to actually pick up that other chest because of how long it takes. But like we have so much gold. We have so much gold. Alright, if we could do Enoch really well and keep this health, I will just start climbing the Sun Tower with 211 health. I had no idea those were over there, so just use the shield block because I did not feel comfortable anymore. making much use of the boots, but it's not like I was using the resolve anyways, so I'm happy. Let's see if that's timed. 
Looked like it was timed perfectly, as far as I can tell. Nope. Okay. We will save those for the grounded set, just then. Those last potions nearly railed me very hard. Ooh. Hey, got him. I know now with that damage I'm going for book next so climb up the tower afterwards got a bunch of health got all the fiends cleared out got all the gold I need and then some I think so this is going really well. Despite the intro, this is actually going really well. If I could get a great if I could get a good tower and kill Irad off of this character, I think we got ourselves in the lines where I want to be. We have a scholar cape already set up for us, so we don't have to worry about equipment too severely. Pegolus love intelligence. So we will be using them. I almost wonder if we can like route out not having to open that up. I'm just gonna do it this way because of... The exploding caskets. Don't want them exploding on me, you know? Gold, half mana, about one hit from a cast. And we climb the sun tower, everyone. And yeah, even if I want the damage boost, I don't have the mana for it. I don't think I want it anyways. up two more. One. Two. Alright, we found the top. It's all indoors. Or majority indoors, at least.
Okay, we didn't find the top. Oh well. Feel we have to be close. We didn't die. I mean, if we pull this off... We have all the gold. But, uh, this might be a mistake. To put simply, going into this fight with... One health, effectively. Two. But, I mean, this guy deals much more than two damage. So... But I've definitely killed this boss without getting hit once, so... I've definitely done it more than once. <sighs> Alright, yeah, when I'm grabbing this gold, I'm gonna just retire. Because I'm done getting gold for the rest of the run, I think. Oh my gosh. Magma Mass is a great spell, and I think that's actually the deciding factor here. Gold is not an issue anymore. Like, look at that gold. Uh, 
25, 26. I need... Hold up. We have 10,000 gold left. Oh my gosh. It's plus 50, though. There we go. Good enough. And we're gonna try not to grab a lock, and if we get to the final boss, then we'll lock. But yeah, we have plus 12 to damage, plus 15 to intelligence. We're good. We good. Alright, now we just need to not get a bad generation here. I did that to try to break those objects there, but... I broke one, which I have to consider that a success. Alright. One up and to our right, and the other's far enough away that I'm going to focus on that first. Alright. Well, I found it, so might as well get the damage boost. Boxer gloves if I need them, but the whole reason I pick the boxer is for the deft trait, not for the gloves. Might need storm if I want it. I actually rather I think that the magma mass is worth missing out on the plus six percent damage boost. Alright, found one. There's those to the left, and those to the right. So, we're going to head the left path for now. Because we're already working our way there. But the right path also has a teleport, so we have to consider both for the future. Safety. Ew. Ew. Let's grab this first. Alright, now we have the teleport. Alright, so we have that downward teleport. At least we got something from this. Alright. Let's grab the boxer, because the boxer has elusive to hopefully get through there better. But yeah, now this run is decided by how good the this area is, and so far it ain't looking too good, but we still have hope. We're not out. It's not over yet. Right. We just, the first two we found were the two unnecessary ones. But you have elusive. I thought you'd go through those guys. Inconsistency with elusive, man. Alright. Well, might as well. It's so far away. <sighs> Looks like we do have a bad route, unfortunately. 
Because we now have to take this way off to the right. And get that teleport. And all the enemies I killed along the way are alive again, so that was just a waste of our time now. Thought they'd make it so that the character could backtrack easily, but... Onyx Q's right here, so that's going to be an easy door to open. And I opened this one without the easiness. Alright, let's try it. See if Boxer has what it takes. Not that one. Alright, cool. Well, we have it unlocked, we have most of this area opened up the way I need it opened up. So now we get night. Yep, night, glowing ember, all good. The ember is actually going to make that onyx key expensive, but that's okay. We have damage. If I could line up the explosions... I think the process of trying to line up the explosions with the glowing ember is going to be worse than just firing them off when I can. That's what I expected them not to get knocked back at all. There's no need to teleport around, so we'll just grab this. We then try to get the onyx key and pop open the door in the same life. Yeah, not far at all. Alright, well, we know where it is. Next life can take it, right? Awesome. This is also the night that if we want to use a knight instead of a boxer on this kill, that we would want. Alright. Because we managed to get the pearl key on that one life, we actually have a good lineup here. So, that's good. Let's try to get the sub one hour. And yes, we have time. Because I'm saying sub one hour in game time. Out of game time, I'm okay with it going over. All right, we now know the enemies that we're facing. All right, move left and then I frames it. Gosh darn it. I 
mistime the shield bash, and I still dislike that there's no iframes for that, but okay, whatever. Oh my gosh! Nearly fell to my death. That would have been a sad way for this character to go. We'll try it. Does have a good spell for it. Woo. When I found you want to kill the shield first, if you can control it. What am I doing facing the wrong direction? Whew. And the problem is that's kind of a distance away, so we have to just walk every time. Alright, Searing Shot should deal enough damage. But we, because we don't have like a trick on this boss, the way the fight on this fight, the way we do on the final boss, I would argue that this enemy is actually harder than the final boss themselves, which is a argument people will disagree with, but I'm staying by it. I'm sticking to it. I think this is closer. I could be wrong. If it is, we will just start going to the other one. It's okay. Maybe not as safe as I hoped it was. good news is this excess health is actually going to give us an extra hit on these guys. Which is about as good as I can hope for when it comes to healing. Always take that damage. Oh, my gosh! I didn't have my dash. I just should have shield dashed and I panicked. All right, dead in one hit. Not good. None of these are good. Mm. This one has a good damaging spell, but has to land. Alright. Don't like this. We are past an hour real time. Let's try to keep it... I'm not sure we could do it under an hour in-game time, because... Yeah, just a little too far away with the fact that we have to walk every time. But 
But yeah, that's definitely the shorter route. Alright. Well, die in one hit. Or, I guess we get two hits. But, die in two hits. We're a giant. This is gonna end well. Honestly, if one goes down, the other becomes a lot easier. Yep, I was just trying to time the shield bash. Missed it up. So this run was going fantastically, and we've just been dying horribly on this last fight here. So... This was about to be an amazing run. Um, previous run was fine. Previous run was fine. This one was about to be great, but... Messed it all up at the very end, which is very unfortunate. Uh, how about you, Mindful Line? How about you? We still can do a decent run. You got new stress that save a lot of time? Good to hear. Good to hear. I'll make sure to check it out. I definitely did... Tr Today I tried um, just using the knights on um, 2-ball, and it turned out fine. I think that we might not need the pugilist in our routes in the future. Oh. I don't have a double... I use my double jump. All right. <sighs> this boss right here. I need to learn how to face this boss right here. Well, we killed it. Boxer saves almost two minutes. I mean, so to be clear, I just said that I we could. Um, Boxer doesn't save two minutes if we if we could find a strat that gets us to win before thirty one before level thirty one. Uh. But. Like, there is possibility. I'm not... Like, obviously, you can see I'm using the boxer right now. I'm not saying this is, like, a guaranteed strat. I just tried it, and it seemed to work out fine. I have hopes. Um... It is that time it takes to buy levels, including... It is the time it takes to buy levels, including most of the finding of chests. Oh, that's the time that's saved? I don't exactly get her... Like... Anyways. I'm going to just focus on this fight right now. Probably a good idea.
I mean, if you're not going to summon any minions, I'll appreciate it. How about I just don't talk? As Hyperco Wag, I don't care about Vertigo. I'll figure out how to play with Vertigo. Anyways, I am going to now lock down the boxer since we are at this point of the run. Ooh. Yes, buying levels of boxer costs about one minute and thirty seconds. To die plus plus or minus 15 seconds. I noticed that my ex's money splits are often extend 54 seconds. All that's saved is just by just playing boxer. Yep, major boon in their usefulness, definitely. Like that's the only reason we. Just to be clear, flying rangey, that's the only reason boxers are in this run because of their ability to turn be invincible. Frosted just as I was going through. I tried. I tried with the Vertigo Barbarian. But Vertigo's rough. Bat spell. Oh well. But yeah, Fungal Spray is very strong as a spell. And so, like, I had a knight with Fungal Spray that was able to pull it off. So, I'm just hoping that... The whole reason I was bringing that up is if we can manage to... Um, find a route... Yeah. Alright, so... I should one day explain my routine and why I do certain things, as I often take the time to compare the time of certain splits. Yep. I just play because I enjoy playing more of. I I will state that. Because I still need to get good, as, you, as I say. Like, the fact that I can't beat this on my first boxer is definitely an issue.
I try to punch him into two ball. Right. Ooh. Uh, not the move I meant to do, but oh well. Worked. Kept me from getting hit. Oof. Magma Mass is a better spell for actually dealing damage. Huh. I had it, and I was sub hour up until that last mini boss. Uh, I like to optimize my running while trying to get better. Thinking about the game also helps me to process some things. Yep. I just. I have fiends going on in my life that I have to work on, so. Usually when I'm not playing this game, I'm legitimately, like, forgetting about this game and doing other things entirely, so. I, like, think about this game just before I turn it on, basically. <laughs> uh. Why am I taking that risk? That risk doesn't need to be taken. They even the hitbox of the enemy to my left, way over to the left. All right. Well, not exactly a good build, but playable build. All right. Gigantism is not good for this. Uh. Why do I have so much trouble with two ball man? Like, I mean, I guess it's new. I guess it's new, and it's hard. But it's just... It's frustrating. It's frustrating. When the only thing between you and the PB you're looking for is just... Taking this on the first try instead of the third. Ah... Uh. Yeah, Malquin. Thanks for the kindness, but right now it just as uh, he says, like the minions are part of two ball. That's why two ball is a struggle. So it really distinguishing between whether it's two ball is the tr issue and the minions two ball summons is the issue doesn't really make a difference. 
I thank you for the encouragement, though. I thank you for the encouragement. If you have the damage to one shot the minions, two ball wouldn't get a hit in. That you don't That's the theme. One, um, all of the minions have armor, so at best I can three shot them. And two, I have as much damage as I can probably as I can possibly get in a speed run, basically, right now. So if I can't one shot them now, I can't one shot them. Just flat out. I mean, yeah, I guess when you boxing punch them, they do technically all go down in a group. Oh, my gosh. Feeling you were there. Oh. So yeah. Won't deny their ability to just punch and cause the multitude of damage hits is definitely very powerful. And yep, great splash screen. Alright, 1307. We're improving. We're getting back to what it used to be. Ah. <sighs> 